Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Radley 90 in the MIC chat. Today we have a very special guest. He goes by the name Harry Haas on his public Twitter and in our chat room of MIC. And what's cool about this trader is he's adopted one of Bao's main techniques and strategies called the first bounce strategy, as we kind of do a play on words of Bao's name and bounce. And today, Harry is going to get into the details of what he looks for because he has found so much success with this strategy. He's our perfect testimonial for this type of play. And while this is just a preview today, guys, if you want to watch the whole 40 minute plus video and any of our other exclusive content, then become a member at MIC. All right, let's get into it. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Harry Haas, um, Sniper Trader 21 on uh, Twitter. And uh, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the first bounce strategy. Um, I've had some success with it over the past couple months and I thought I'd kind of uh, pass on some of that information. Um, so for the first bounce criteria, uh, what I'm looking for is a low float, uh, higher institutional, uh, higher insider uh, ownership, and higher, insti higher institutional ownership. Uh, I like the stock above VWAP. Um, usually it's the hot chick of the day. Um, usually it's the biggest percent gapper on the day. And uh, usually it has no dilution or very minimal or the company can't dilute. Um, I know there are other fundamental videos. I'm just going over the first bounce so I'm not going to get into it too much. Um, these are just some general rules of thumb that I have going into the market every day. Um, trade like you're a retired trader. Um, so you don't need to trade every day. Like if there's no first bounces, well, I'm not going to go out and look for a first bounce if the setup just isn't there. And I think a lot of people get caught up in that um, little trap where they feel like they have to make money every single day. There's been like two or three days where I haven't gone out and traded because the market was completely dead. And uh, there was no setups that I liked, so I went out and enjoyed my day instead of just sticking to the screens looking for something that isn't going to show up and forcing trades. Um, always trade the best setups. Um, the first bounce is an easy and extremely uh, easy way to, to grow your account. It's an easy setup. Um, it's great to learn. Um, I learned it from the LIC YouTube channel, and uh, I tested it. I went over it, I practiced it, and now I'm using it in the market right now with a live account. Um, there's also no locate fees with it. So if you're trying to grow a smaller account, uh, sometimes those fees can really hold you down. So uh, not having to pay those locate fees and still make money is great. Um, and another rule of thumb I have is if you're in the money and you're up like 10, 20 cents a share, um, it's always a good idea to set it to break even. That way you don't turn uh, a winner into a loser. Um, that's just my rule of thumb. Um, you can trade however you want. Um, so entry using first bounce pattern. Uh, so I personally like to enter on a support or resistance line. Um, I'm using a line chart plus a candlestick chart. I'm making sure the tape isn't too heavy. And when I mean heavy, I mean I'm making sure there's not a lot of big sellers uh, going into my line. But if there are a lot of big sellers and my line is supporting that, then maybe that makes my line... Um, a line of interest. What I'm trying to say is that I don't want uh, the tape to go and break through my line with authority. Um, if my line's at 160, I don't want it to be trading at one f 153. That's just not what I like to see. I don't like to see the tape uh, go through my go through my line at all. I like to see my line uh, steady and sturdy, and uh, I don't like to see it broken. And we'll get into some examples of that later. Um, I like to uh, scale into my trades. Which means if I have, let's say, a thousand share position, I might do uh, 250 shares uh, four times, scaling down into that trade. Um, and uh, I also like to preset my orders. Um, I do preset starters, but it's always a good idea to gauge the tape and how, how the way or how the stock's trading. Um, and I like to combine uh, VWAP with some of my indicators. I really like that. Um, when you have multiple indicators that point to one line, uh, that just gives you more conviction in the trade. Um, so now we have the first bounce pattern. Um, so in this example, uh, the stock uh, shoots way up. 
this can be however however much you want and then it comes down and then uh, it usually bases off a of support like in this example and shoots back up so you're looking to buy into on this line and uh, you're looking to sell uh, into this spike um, here we see a little bit of resistance so I'll put a line right there the stock spikes uh, creates this resistance comes down spikes back up and then this support is being used as resistance um, here we just see another example I see these all the time of stocks having resistance breaking the resistance and coming down and using that resistance as support this is another one um, where it ju it'll just come up and you know sometimes the stock will, will spike it'll fade for some of the day and not do anything and then we'll get a, a late day spike VWAP reclaim and then it'll come back down and use this uh, support as some resistance um, here's the uh, setup actual like the actually in use um, so if we go back here uh, this setup right here um, this is actually it um, so we see that in this particular scenario I did know some people who were short on this and trapped and uh, I kind of felt bad for them um, but they were a lot of people were risking off of this uh, pre-market high so when this uh, stock started to kind of come up it shot up stopped out all of the shorts and then uh, there was a little bit of a sell-off from these longs and uh, and it came down and uh, used this um, use this resistance as support and we got this little bounce here and then uh, off it faded off but this little bounce you know this is 15 cents a share if you know how to spot these there's two, three, four of these a day. You can be making up to a dollar a share just on scalping these uh, little first bounces. This is an easy, easy, easy pattern to, to use, and it's profitable. Um, so here, this is a little bit of a complicated uh, scenario about how I use the line chart. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.